Shelly. This is my mala. This is my mala that I made. Um, they say that your mala chooses you and this mala truly did choose me. Um, I wanted the green beads. I saw the purple and I wanted the green beads, um, but for some reason I was drawn to the purple. Um, it was quite a fiasco making this mala, but um, it ended up, it, it really is a blessing to me and this mala did choose me. I wanted, again, I felt like I should pick this black tassel and instead I grabbed the purple tassel and when I went to put it on, nobody else has unraveled, but my whole thing unraveled and fell apart, so I had to go back to the black tassel. Um, more of a story behind it, but that'll be for another day. I just want to talk about malas, uh, what people use them for. Some, a lot of people just wear them for decoration, but really they're used for meditation. The word mala, it means garland, and malas traditionally have been used for centuries. They're not really a religious um, item, for lack of a better word, but many religions do use malas or strings of beads to count prayers. So a traditional mala is used to either chant or do some meditating, um, keeping your mind focused on what you're meditation is or desire. Um, rosary beads were actually fashioned after malas, but again, it's just a way of counting. Um, it's not religious at all, because we all know that yoga is not a religion. Um, each mala is traditionally 108 beads, and there's many, many reasons why the 108 beads, you can go look them up. I have my favorites. We'll save that one also for another day. Um, I just really wanted to show you my mala and go over just quickly how to use it and a few affirmations or chants that you can use. So you typically start at your guru bead and you have your mala just over your middle finger. And again, it's a way to keep counting. It's a way to keep your mind focused on your affirmation or your meditation. Instead of saying, okay, I'm gonna meditate for five minutes and you start meditating and you start thinking, oh, pork chops are on sale at Big Y and I have to do this later. And it just, you can't help it, but thoughts just keep coming in. So the mala is a way to just keep centering you back to your meditation. So again, you don't count your guru bead, you start after your guru bead, and each time you say your mantra or your affirmation or your prayer, you can say it to yourself. You don't have to say it out loud. You just move the bead along to the next bead, and that helps you to say, oh yeah, I'm moving it along. Yep, I gotta say it again, I gotta say it again. Until you get all the way around 108, back to your guru bead. And it is said that you never step over your guru or your teacher. So you don't go over if you want to count again. You just simply turn it back around and then you count. Some people count, uh, meditate in English. So if they want confidence or they just want to affirm they're confident, they'll just sit, sit with their mala. I am confident, I am confident, I am confident, I am confident, thinking it or singing it, whichever way you want. Some people can or do meditate in Sanskrit. So if you want to do a salutation to the person who removes obstacles or just uh, meditate on if you want an obstacle removed in your life, that would be Om Gum Ganapataye Namaha. So you can go Om Gum Kama ah. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Or you can sing. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. 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 
Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. So you get the, the gist of it, but it keeps you focused on that 108 times. Another uh, Sanskrit mantra that people say or sing, or sometimes they say it during uh, yoga classes, is Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, which means peace for all beings in the universe, peace to you. Again, you just start here. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. So you're just saying over and over again, peace to the universe. So you can sing Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Again, that's just a way of counting a way of doing your affirmations and starting a practice of meditation. After a while, you do, it does get easier to control the thoughts, but they still, believe me, they come in. And even though people say, oh, acknowledge them and send them on their way, it's easier said than done. Uh, a lot of people do wear their malas. Just keep in mind, when people touch your mala, they're putting themselves on your mala. So there's a way to clean your mala. There's uh, things to do to, if it breaks, what you need to do with your mala. There's a lot behind this little beautiful baby here. And uh, I'll probably be back doing a little more. If not, once this is over, we are going to be learning about malas. And we will be making our own malas. And I hope you enjoyed this today. I'll be back talking about own.